Hello Gemini, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 11th to the 17th of January 2021. So I hope you're well, Gemini. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your angel answer card. So what do we have for Gemini, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Geminis. Okay, your card is turned over. Oh, I've got in the near future. In the near future, what's this to do with Angel Spirits Guides for Gemini? What do we have in the near future, please? So I have perfect timing and listen to your intuition, Gemini. So something that is timed to perfection, right place, right time situation in the near future, and it feels that you're being guided through your intuition, your inner knowing, your instinct towards something. Okay. Let's pull another card and see what we get. So what do we have, please, for Gemini? Thank you. Message for Gemini for the week, please. Angels, spirits, guides. What is the message? That card just wants to flip over. Okay. So I've got patience and I've got love. It feels like it's it feels like it's this kind of coincidental thing here uh, right time right place scenario I mean I really like those energies very much okay And to be honest, your readings, I think the last couple of readings I've done for Gemini has been to do with love. Um, love, romance, relationships. So let's see what we get with you. I'm going to pull four cards. The first card is you, your current situation. The second card is your challenge. Third card is advice from spirit. Fourth card is your outcome. And then we clarify the cards to go deeper into the message, Gemini. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, so message for Gemini, please. Angels, spirits, guides, message for Gemini. Thank you. What do we have for Gemini, please? Angel Spirits Guides. 17th to the, sorry, 11th to the 17th of January 2021, please. Message for Gemini. Thank you. That flew out. Okay, so we have the Eight of Wands. King of Coins, card of Taurus for me as a reader. That can be, this is your challenge position. The Hermit energy is a card of Virgo. Uh, that's the advice from spirit and your outcome, Gemini. We have the page of coins. Okay. So what do we have for Gemini? Can we clarify the cards on the table, please? For Gemini, thank you. Angels, spirits, guides message for our lovely Geminis. Okay, thank you. So the Eight of Wands is clarified with the Three of Coins. King of Wands. Four of Cups. The Ten of Wands is clarified with the King of Coins. I'm sure we've had these energies before for you. <laughs> King of Coins, King of Wands. Uh, the Lovers, which is you, Gemini, is clarified with the Clarifying the Hermit. And the Page of Coins is clarified with the King of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Wands. 
So what is this page of coins, please? Angel Spirits Guides, what is this page of coins for Gemini? Yeah, the five of coins. Yeah, I've got the page of cups, bottom of this deck, which I'm going to put here. It feels there's somebody who is offering you something here, Gemini. But you're giving deep thought to a situation. I mean, it might well be that this could be an opportunity to start a new relationship or it could be an opportunity to move a relationship to the next level. Because there's something about perfect timing. The, the Eight of Wands is an energy of shifts, movement moving forward, uh, progress, it's that kind of energy. Sometimes it can be about travel and distance and maybe even distance relationships here. But it feels in this situation that you have an opportunity to, someone is offering or it feels like somebody is offering you something though you're not sure whether you want it or not. I mean, it might well be if there's been some, for, for example, and it's not just the only scenario, this is like a shift in a relationship. So it's either a new relationship to build something new with somebody or to actually maybe move in with somebody. So if somebody is at a distance or you live apart and there is some kind of opportunity to move in, take your relationship to the next level. And you know, this Leo, this the King of Wands is a Leo energy, male or female energy. I mean, I've got three kings here, which kind of, if it feels in this situation that, I mean, this could be Leo, Sagittarius, Aries here. But the kings are generally very successful energies. They know what they want. They know how to get it by using the element of their suit. Um, and in this case, this is somebody who is magnetic, um, very larger than life energy somebody who understands to go for go for what they want they're in their power and it might well be for some of you you might feel a little bit overwhelmed by this person as well i mean they may be moving at a faster pace than you want to go you know it might well be that situation because i have this slow steady energy of the three of, of pentacles the manifesting the building of something new now this could be next level energy moving in with somebody or it could well be in this situation the beginning of manifesting a new relationship and see if you're seeing if you have common goals a common direction that you're moving towards and that's what you're seeing do i have enough in common with this person to either start a new relationship or to the move to the next level with this person and again there's some kind of you're being given illumination a message from the universe to say don't miss this opportunity but again, this person is giving some deep thought to the situation, going within and trying to tap into their intuition in how they need to move forward. But again, this is the cup offered to you from God, the divine, the universe, the four of cups, um, saying this is an opportunity worth considering here. And it feels like with a person, male or female energy, I mean, three kings, like I said, when they appear in the reading, it could, it could be more male energy. But because it's a general reading, it's male or female energy. But in this situation, it feels that you're giving some deep thought to a situation. I don't know if I want to do this. Is it right for me? It's that kind of energy. Feels like you haven't made up your mind. And it's because it feels like you're still dealing with past situations or a past person. Because the Ten of Wands is a card of burden, but it's a Ten which is a completion. So there's a kind of message that this burden that you carry, it can be over with now. There is a need to make space for the new. But it's almost kind of like somebody, past relationship maybe. I mean, the King of Coins is a card of Taurus. It can be Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. 
But it feels in this situation, this king of coins, it, it feels it could have been a past relationship. Either that, or you're asking yourself, can I trust this person because I'm still carrying weight from the past? You know, I've learnt lessons from the past journey that I've had and I, that's why I'm giving some deep consideration to this new offer opportunity coming my way because, you know, I don't want to repeat the same mistakes that I've made, you know, that, that have been, that have happened before. I mean, not, not necessarily that you've made, but the same situation that you've experienced before that didn't go so well. Um, so again, this King of Coins can be about trust as well. Can I trust this? Um, and you're judging it on past experience, but this feels like it's a different person. And this, this person isn't the same person that you experienced the burden from before. So just know that because that's what spirit is saying to you. They're not the same person. You can't judge, you can't, you can't have the same criteria and judgments that you've learnt from a past person that may have hurt you, you know, uh, and apply them to this new person because they're a completely different person. So it's interesting. That's definitely what I'm getting. Because the Hermit card is a card of, can be a card of healing, but it's also a card of introspection. And again, the lovers, Gemini, I mean, this can be to do with love, romance, relationships, making a choice, a decision now, because somebody is offering you something. And like I said, new love or next level relationship moving in together. Certainly if you have a distance or you live apart. Um, it could be you've also met them online as well. You know, that could be the scenario here. But it feels like you have some <clears throat> choice or decision to make here because they're wanting to either start a relationship with you, take things forward. I mean, there's definitely a forward moving energy here. They want to take things forward in whichever direction. Um, and this, can, this, is you, this is your card. So you connecting to who your higher self and to find answers, to seek the choice or decision that you need to make. It feels to do with matters of the heart here. And again, the Hermit is about finding illumination from within, having that quiet space to really find the answer that you seek from within. Deep introspection, soul searching. But it's also a card of healing, maybe healing from this Ten of Wands energy, this past person. Because... Page of Coins is, is a manifesting energy. The Page of Coins is about manifesting something new. Um, they're also about learning, you know, learning from... There's definitely an energy of learning from the past, learning from what has ever made you feel lack before, out in the cold, maybe rejected. You know, it's that kind of energy, the Five of Coins. Um, and having learned from past mistakes here. But the Page of Coins is a card of manifesting something new. It's, it's an opportunity to, the beginnings of something solid, stable, secure. That's what this Page of Coins offers you. It's a manifesting energy. How do I, it can be in terms of money, for example, money career. How do I manifest money? I might do, need to do some skills development and so on and so forth. And in terms of this opportunity, um, in, in, Pentacles is our conscious reality. So it can be our foundational relationships, people who we build our lives with, can be to do with our money career, can be to do with our home, our health and so on. So it feels in this situation that you're feeling the lack from something that has gone before, but there's a definite energy of you're ready for the new when the page of coins appears, you're ready to manifest something new. And it feels because you've learned experience from the past, but don't let the past create that block in how you move forward now. And the five of, of ones, it feels in this energy, it's the struggle. It feels like conflict struggle. There's definitely an energy here, Gemini, of 
struggling having experienced something of the past here a difficult situation with a difficult relationship of the past and that is almost kind of like having a hold in almost blocking you manifesting something new and the king of swords sometimes this is an aquarius energy for me but it can be you as well because it is our energy i feel this is you this is about getting clarity and again the king of swords understands how to liberate liberate the mind rise above um, confusion get clarity see the truth of a situation but he's also a forward-looking energy so there's definitely an energy with the king of swords now is the time to get this kind of clarity see things for what they are there's definitely this energy of cut cords from the past as well because for some of you i definitely feel that there's new love being offered to you the page of cups is a message of love and i feel it's linked with this the four of cups the missed opportunity the opportunity you need to give deep consideration to the divine nudge card and i feel this is being repeated again for you the ace of cups is to do with the beginnings of, of it feels to do with love romance relationships it's either a new love or next level love but there's definitely some kind of offer opportunity that you're being offered and it feels in terms of love romance relationships and you're being told don't let the past block opportunity coming in now in the present because there's definitely an energy of somebody is around and it definitely feels like offering you a chance to move forward in a relationship whatever aspect for you so don't let the past feeling lack feeling burden lessons from the past block this situation there's something to do with perfect timing here gemini but definitely a message of listening to your intuition because your intuition will tell you how you need to move forward in this it feels very powerful oh yeah i don't need to the knight of wands this is a card of go for it a uh, green light to go and it's interesting this is a card of get back on the horse <laughs> for me as a reader i do call it get back on the horse card um take the reins of your life charge ahead go for something now this is an opportunity and it feels that is very much in line with your your passions your desires uh, that is going to bring positive change in your life that promises growth so sometimes a night of ones appears as well when you put a difficult situation behind you and you're ready to go for something get on the horse go for it now so yeah definitely an energy of green light to go 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 um it feels very beautiful gemini i have to say but i really do feel this struggle this struggle in your own energy and the message is be patient and explain to this other person who is offering you love that why they need to be patient because the king of wands probably isn't the most patient person and i do feel in that situation they will give you the time and space and go at your own pace in manifesting this new path but there's a big 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 energy of the past has such hold over you there's a need to make space for the new and that's what you're being told by spirit it's time it's time the four of cups it's time the divine nudge so gemini let's pull a final card <clears throat> and see what we have for you sorry my voice has just gone <laughs> okay so we have the light the fairy queen of light comes to shed love and light on your current situation and to remind you that light can penetrate the darkness isn't that beautiful and i feel this is about step into your light release what's gone release the darkness the shadow that's holding you back it's a beautiful energy i don't know what's wrong with my throat but it's just gone <laughs> Um, so I hope you enjoyed the reading Gemini if you did please do like share and subscribe I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time thank you